I just told uh, Kevin about our our last episode. Tim. Yeah. Uh, that thing is not going anywhere. Okay. Yeah. That was the distribution update. That one. Um, is the, the... It was yes, just you two? and uh, no, no, no. It was uh, no the the one we had, all three. Oh, okay. Where we talked about plugins and stuff. Oh, okay. Audio just yeah. sucked. Uh, audio content. Just content. Okay. <laughs> it just it just had no energy. It was so yeah. boring. Well, well then let's just record. Let's let's just talk and assume that it's not going to get uh, put out. But holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> want to go out of that because i haven't talked with you about the universal music stuff right nope I've, I've been thinking about that and god oh it's like on the one hand universal is there to make money for their artists mm -hmm. on the other hand they're stopping people from hearing their artists right which is a detriment it's yeah. not that they weren't getting paid. They just weren't getting paid enough. enough. I don't know what that is. I think everyone in the world would say, I'm not getting paid enough, including Elon, uh, who has his own getting paid problems these days. Yeah, but it's just a thing. That's just the world now. Is, is that what we're going after? Is I, I guess money, right? But Yeah. But there's, a, I mean, outside of the agreement that TikTok and UMG, that falling apart, there's mm -hmm. all those people that created hundreds of millions of, if not billions of videos with audio, con you know, audio in the content that is gone. It's gone. It's stripped from the video, right? Yeah. Like really? it's not there anymore. Like, so it's yeah. gone. No, there's silence. Oh, yeah. it's, it's full silence. So there's no, there's no line in the sand where like, okay, yeah, these videos are, were made prior to the agreement falling apart. So there's no, that's not how it works. It's right in perpetuity. So it's it's you have to continue that revenue stream for usage, regardless of what that means. But now that they, they haven't been able to make that agreement, it's gone. It's pulled from the con the, the the platform. So all content that has it no longer has it, and it just changes everything about what somebody did. And like, if somebody wants to go back in time and watch all that mm -hmm. stuff. Somebody has to go back and edit. What if you have a thousand pieces of content? <laughs> Nobody's going to go back and edit all that. Now they're just yeah. pissed off and they're just going to leave the platform because everything they did is compromised. And then, so what if they come back and they make an agreement and they solve the problem? Does that audio go back into the, into the videos? Yes, it will. Okay. How? It's just because they, they flick the switch back oh, on and it's all back. They actually changed the, Yeah, they just they just muted it out before they stream it. It's okay. They still have the okay. data on their computers. Okay, okay, but it still doesn't change the fact that if this goes on for any extended period of time, those content creators, if they used a ton of Universal Music Group's, you know, uh, artists, are just going to move on. They're going to be like, mm -hmm. you know what? Screw this. I'm going to do YouTube Shorts now because. At least mm -hmm. there, I know I'm not going to have this problem, right? Well, <laughs> right. Or potentially, oh. potentially. <laughs> no, because yeah, of course they're going to. I mean, this could happen again. Should they just have used our music all along? Our music? Hmm. What? What do you mean? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Well, and a lot of people have. A whole lot of people. Yeah, I was going to say, like, isn't know? like 99% of TikTok just monkey spinning monkeys anyways? It is 1.7% of TikTok, but I feel you. <laughs> yeah. You're going to you're going to you're going to catch it at least once in a half an hour. Yeah. So Well, over the next 3 years, it's probably going to be dwarfed by fluffing a duck because I got well, they uh, things uh, catch on and Yeah. You never know. Yeah, you you, ne you never do, or maybe what I write tomorrow, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, it takes like six to eight years to it really does. get something baked into the culture. It does. So if you don't have you know a marketing arm and yeah. too many millions of dollars and are striking deals to get your stuff placed in movies and like oh god, <laughs> but it's also time plus consistency equals the results you're looking for, right? Like yeah. ultimately. Uh, sometimes that timeline's a lot longer than you were hoping. Sometimes, <laughs> oh yeah, Almost sometimes every time. it's super short. Yeah. But I, no, I think not, I, I think more people are gravitating towards YouTube 
even though you might think everyone is gravitating towards like TikTok and Instagram, most young people mm-hmm. are, but it's becoming more like a, into the general public, the whole online thing. So I think everything is growing online. And I think that you're going to see that on your channel. I'm going to see it on my channel. You're going to see it on your channel, Tim. It's all yeah. the same. I just have to be consistent about content. Uh, <laughs> Oh, my God. What's going to happen when everyone loses their jobs to the AIs and then they have nothing to do but watch videos yeah, and yeah. garden? Hopefully, hopefully they can start <laughs> gardens. Yeah. Do you remember when everyone yeah. lost their job to COVID? Mm-hmm. I do. Huge spike on the internet. Yeah. 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 How many podcasts were started that oh year? Oh, my God. <laughs> so many. So many podcasts. I, I get so... Yeah, like... All of my middle-aged white guys talking to each other. I get all of that now. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, COVID. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a hey, minute. It... This is a middle-aged white guy podcast. Oh, no. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it totally is. Oh, no. <laughs> we do have focus. Somewhat. Uh, yeah. We have some a little focus. Bit. <laughs> we do. We talk industry. We talk trends. Yeah. We talk frustrations. You know? It's good, especially for anybody coming up trying to do this, you know? I've often thought that guiding some others in the same path with the Creative Commons would be good. Although, it's a tough sell, because you're asking people to take nothing. Yeah. (laughs) You know? Or, Um, you know, you can sign with Universal Music, and no one will hear you now. (laughs) (laughs) Well, at least on that platform. You know, And on that platform, right. Yeah, yeah. But I think that's like that's definitely a, a, a warning sign to people out there not to put all your eggs in one social media basket, you know, with the exception with a wild card exception to YouTube, because I feel like for some reason, that's oh, it's just so broad. Of, it's it's just the it's the thing that just keeps ticking. It's just yeah. no matter what, it's kind of like alcohol and cigarettes during a recession. It's recession proof. You know, hey, listen, <laughs> I, I might have lost my job, but God damn it, I could still get a drink and have a smoke. You know, it's like, <laughs> like that stuff is just that's an industry you should invest in no matter what. You don't have to feel like your content or your, your what you put up there is one and done. Mm-hmm. It could get legs down the road. Yeah. And you're like, oh, wow. OK, this is resonating now. Maybe I'll focus some of my content on this. There is always, always the chance that if you try to be everything to everyone on a channel that it's just not going to resonate enough because you're not specific enough. But if you don't give a shit and you're just like, Hey, I'm doing this for me because first Mm -hmm. of all, you want to do that for authenticity. But ultimately, you know, your channel can evolve over time and that same thing can happen. You know, that same situation can go down. So, but it's so complicated. It's like, there's so many little details for each thing to do to follow. It's like, just do your thing. Yeah. And if something happens, right. great. And, like, yeah. So, and like, you have to learn like the um, what do you call it? Like the manners and mannerisms of each platform. Twitch yeah. works very different than YouTube Live, right? Um, or Facebook Live. Yeah. And YouTube works different than Facebook, and they all have a different culture, and you have to speak different language. And... Yeah, that was our challenge with Suburban Coop, right? Like, if you yeah. just want to watch chickens. A lot of people don't want to register. They just want to go to the thing and watch the thing, right? And YouTube right. is very, very welcoming to that. Like, hey, somebody sent you a link? Come check it out. We don't want to capture any... Well, we're going to capture things in the background. Don't you worry about that. We know exactly, <laughs> you, know, you know, your cookies and stuff are... We're doing all that, you know? It, it's all about consuming because they know the longer you stay there, the more you're going to consume. You're not going to do anything to discourage you to come. So click that link, watch that video. Hey, on that channel, on uh, on that link, the list on the side, there's a whole bunch of other stuff here. Did you know about chickens? Blah. You know, so of course you're going to go down a rabbit hole. I love the chicken facts, by the way. That's just. (laughs) Thank thank you so much. If you ever watch the Suburban Coop uh, thing, I did a lot of research on chickens over many, many days. And wow. Do I? I did know a lot about chickens. Now I'm forgetting it. I'm going back and watching. I'm like, oh, that's a. Re- oh yeah, I remember that. That's yeah. Cool. yeah, the marquee, right? 
around it. There's like a little thing on the bottom, and it's just. Yeah. Did you know? Yeah. Pickens, blah blah blah. And I'm like, no, I didn't know that. Um, That's pretty cool, man. Tr- trying to understand their respiratory system because they don't have lungs that go like this. They just have like a fixed lung thing, and then they've got like a lung thing over here and a lung thing over there. It's like a three cycle engine. Really? Well, that's that great. I didn't know that either. Air through. Oh, right. I have to watch this. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> See? See, we're pushing it. We're pushing it. Yeah. I've been starting to uh, get B facts together, and wow, are there a lot of B facts out there. Oh, B facts. Uh, that's are... good. Bees. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's not I like think we're just going to be honeybees. Yeah. Stereotype middle aged white guy thing to get into bees. Yes, probably. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it happens to be something by extension, Suburban Coop's going to be going into. Right. Assuming, of course, Peggy's not allergic, right? Did yes. she do if that yet? If you're thinking about getting into bees, check to see if you're allergic first because oh, yeah. you can save a whole lot of money on <laughs> books and a whole lot of time because you're never going to be able to do it. Yeah. Right. But also establishing a hive, like you could buy a queen bee and like a couple hundred drones and just, here you go. We're yeah. going to get started and you drop them into a hive, yeah. but then the evolution of a hive, like you can't pull, you can't pull honey out of it for the first couple of years. Right? Like that's Stay you have to tuned it... for bee facts. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's all sorts of stuff. We will know. Yeah. yeah it's, it's it's fascinating. It's the, the the deeper you dive the more you realize like yeah, these are really important. We shouldn't fuck these yeah. things up with an, with the uh, insecticides. <laughs> so, anyway, YouTube is great. Everyone else you need to be a little bit careful of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like there's any major competitors coming up. I mean, Facebook is the closest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the real Apple did it. Oh god, Apple's never going to do that. That's not what they do. <laughs> yeah. And YouTube is great, and it's yeah. just getting better. YouTube TV is terrible. Um, <laughs> but I think that's just because of legal obligations. It's, ugh. I, I don't want to get into it. Anyway, I canceled it, because football season's over, and I don't watch anything else. 85 bucks a month, and I get the option to buy the NFL package. It's like, come <laughs> on. <laughs> so bad. That's just the baseline? Oh. Oh, yesterday I bought Metal Gear Solid, the game that came out in 1998 on PlayStation. Oh, I love that game. And they had to include like a like a prompt before the game starts that this game was made in a different time. Some of the <laughs> things in the game are not appropriate today. And he's like the most sexist, awful, manly man main character of and the really? game I have ever played. And oh, no kidding. That game would not be okay today. <laughs> <laughs> Think about the old 007 movies. Like, specifically, oh, yeah. Sean Connery era. Oh, yeah. I mean, Behead I mean him. that's just awful. Tear awful down his behavior. statue. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> it's crazy what was acceptable <laughs> in behavior. And nowadays, like... Oh my God! You want to talk about how fast would you get canceled for doing something like that? <laughs> yeah. Like just like like no, you don't you don't get to work ever again. It's like <laughs> I, I don't even consider myself like a very woke person, but looking back at those <laughs> movies and games, uh, it tingles a little. It's like that. Okay, yeah. that's not okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just. Oh my God. They're just chauvinistic and oh, so oh. bad. Well, not on the other hand, we do have South Park. Which frequently has things that should not fly today. They, yeah. But they're so good. <laughs> they do things today that would not fly today. Right. Correct. The problem yeah. is the, the the wild card with that. It's a known, right? Like it's it's the foundation of the show yeah. is shock value. So you're expecting to be your whole worldview to be messed up and screwed up when you watch a show <laughs> what one of their episodes like that's the foundation well, of the show and also it's the stupidest possible animation right yeah, yeah. which is ideal yeah yeah because i mean it's like uh doing things with social issues but you're using puppets 
it's an ideal way. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like science fiction. You abstract the people and then you're allowed to actually think about things. I think they do a great job. But I mean, some people are going to get triggered. No matter what. Any day of the week. (laughs) And they just need to relax. (laughs) (laughs) I think Rick Gervais has the best joke on that, where he uh, talks about like people reading his tweets and getting offended. Yeah. And it's like mm-hmm. him walking around the Times Square and seeing like a huge billboard ad for a guitar lessons and be like, I don't want fucking guitar lessons. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was it meant for you? You know, it's right? Like, <laughs> move on. Not everything is about you. Okay. Just because it's being, just because it's being pitched to you doesn't mean it's for you. I think that's why I live like a very happy life because I have come to terms with mostly everything is not about me.